What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Gold Mouth, coming at you guys with another video. I'm coming to tell you guys about my 2019 goals. Yeah, I know it is February, yes, I know, but y'all had to give sister a chance to, you know, get herself together and situate because y'all know I got babies and things around here, girl. My goals for 2019 are for my hair to 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 have healthier hair whether it's relaxed or natural or tech slacks or whatever hair that i have or whether whatever hair you may have if you got a goal for it then let that be you okay so to have healthy longer hair longer hair is one of my goals i know a lot of people have a problem with other people wanting a longer hair but ain't nothing wrong with wanting longer hair if you want longer hair do your steps you need to take to have longer hair if you can't get longer hair be happy with the hair you got or, uh do take some other steps to see if you can try to get it longer. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking steps to trying to get my hair longer, okay? So when people tell me to start with the hair growth, um, <laughs> not happening. Okay, um, my other goal for 2019 is to keep my hair braided up all 2019, okay? All 2019, I'm planning on keeping braids in my hair. As you guys can see, I already done started. Mm, this was... Did I have my, oh, I did have my January hair do already. That's when I did myself when Poopy Head did the back. That's what, that was the January one. So this is the February one. After this one, I'm going to have a March hair do. And then we're going to do it once a month, every month. And I'm going to wear my hair do for four weeks at a time, okay? And I'm going to get my hair redone every four to five weeks. So I'm going to continuously keep my hair braided. Um, every month, all 2019. That's my goal now. Don't hold me to it, but that's my plan. I want to keep my hair braided all 2019. Now I'm a battery wanna die. I'm a care about Lord help me. So Jesus, just let me be great one day, okay? Let me fix this here battery, y'all. Yeah, y'all. So where was I, child? Where was I for my battery start acting up? Okay, I had these written down. So, anyways, yes, yeah, keep my hair braided all 2019. Y'all already know the plans. Every four weeks, get my hair done. Every four to five weeks. I ain't gonna get it done like clock. Well, kind of like clockwork. It's between four or five weeks. I want my hair braided. I want my fresh do. And I'm going to keep my hair braided for four weeks at a time. No longer than five weeks if I feel lazy. No longer than five weeks, though. You know. But that's my goal. As y'all can see, who ain't never watched me before, if you new here, this is my hair do for the month of February. Ooh, this is my Black History Month hair do. Hey, turn up. Black History. So, yes, I'm going to keep my hair braided all 2019. Uh, that's my goal. So, let's hope I can stick with that. Okay, and my next goal is to use my virgin hair fertilizer the whole year. Now, I have gone off and on with virgin hair fertilizer for, for some years, but I want to see if I can stay on it for all this year, at least twice a week. All 2019 at least twice a week um if I can put in three then I do three but at least twice a week because my hair's braided up and I don't want it to start causing any matting if I do too much uh, uh what you call it greasing my scalp and stuff so yeah at least twice a week I want to go ahead with the virgin hair fertilizer and the wild growth oil three times a week so that way I will be doing something to my scalp at least five out of the seven days a week if I do more, then, hey, it is what it is. Then that's just going to be what it is, all right? So, okay, now, and like I just said, use the wild growth oil um, three times a week. Um, the wild growth oil bottle suggests to use it three times a week, I think, unless they don't change the direction. But a long time ago, the instructions say, okay, here you go. Shake well, but no need to remix. What? I ain't never even seen that before. No need to remix occasional dark sediment. Apply sparingly throughout the entire hair and scalp. Observe the results daily. Gradually increase frequency from once a week to three times per week over the course of the first month. Okay. After, maintain a light coating of moisture throughout hair and scalp by applying on an average of three times per week. Okay, yeah, that's what it says. I, I ain't never seen all that extra stuff there. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. I've seen three times a week. So that's what I go say. Three times a week. Birds that have fertilizer say do it every day. But ain't nobody finna be doing that every day. That's a little bit, that's a bit much. Virgin and have fertilizer. Come on, be for real. Be realistic now. So anyway, um, yeah. At least two to three times a week with the virgin hair fertilizer and at least three times a week with the wild growth. Yes, I use both. 
Yes, um, I know some people be like, Dang, you you just was talking about Virgil Heifer last night. Here you go with the wild girl. Boy, if y'all been paying attention to my channel all these years, my whole entire regiment has always consisted of wild girl wild growth oils first and foremost then the virgin hair fertilizer so if i'm confusing a lot of you people who think that i only use virgin hair fertilizer no i all i use virgin hair fertilizer and i use wild growth a combination of both but alternating days you feel me like i use wild growth one day virgin hair fertilizer the next day but every day single every single day i use my s curl spray Matter of fact, it's time for me to use some right now. But I ain't gonna, I ain't damn what I can't hit to do. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit so I can get my little moisture of the day out of the way. Okay? That ain't what I can't do. But since since we here and we talking, and y'all don't think I use it every day. Oh, I do. One time in the morning, and then I do it again. Oh, I done rubbed it with my little fake rain child. Hold on, I need something to wipe it off with. Because you know, y'all know this little jury be fading, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I want my little rain to fade. It's already got a little spot on it. But anyway, yes, that's my goal for. That's I always moisturize my hair with curl spray though, you know. But just to just to assure you guys, that's what I do with my hair every day. And then before I go to bed, I put my edge curl spray on again. So um, and I will also add my satin line bonnet after i put my edge curl spray on for all y'all who don't know i just put my satin line bonnet on you guys which helps me hold in the moisture y'all hold in this moisture and i just go to bed just like that okay okay let me turn around so y'all can see and i put it on just like that okay if anybody interested in this bonnet if anybody interested in this bonnet I have a website called goldencreations.web.com. If you need to order this bonnet or want to order this bonnet, you need to order fast because it's low in stock. There will be more coming on the way, but y'all got to give me some time. Give me some time. All right. All right. Okay. So that's what I do at night. And that'll be every night. Sleep in my bonnet every night is a goal. Every single night. But I do that anyway. But I'm just saying. I'm just telling you. Sleep in my bonnet every night. And when I feel like lounging around, you know, kicking my feet up, watching TV, sitting back on the couch and all of that put my bonnet on all of that stuff too so if you got a bonnet from me already you need to do that like when you you, you don't pay stuff out sometimes you do stuff and you'll be paying no attention like when you just lounging around the house eating your little popcorn watching tv or cooking or whatever put your bonnet on y'all kid put your bonnet on trust me i ain't make up for play play okay next i plan on this might be a little stretch Kind of, but since I'm wearing braids, I guess it's not. But wash my hair once a month. So y'all know what that equal to, y'all? In the whole 2019, 12 times. 12 months in a year. So that I mean I'll be washing my hair 12 times. That don't sound, that sound like a little bit. It's like I should be washing my hair. Because usually I wash my hair every two weeks. Which is fine. Perfectly fine. But I have no problem washing my hair every four weeks. Washing my hair once a month helps me to not tangle, uh, you know, have to go through the detangling process so often. Because I feel like the more I detangle my hair, because on wash day you got to detangle. It's automatic. That comes with wash day, detangling your hair. So I feel like if I limit uh, the amount of times that I have to detangle and, you know, suffer from hair breakage, because hair breakage is going to occur during, you know, your detangling process, when you're trying to detangle your hair, it, it's going to break. Even even though you're real careful, you're going to break some strands. I mean, not intentionally, especially if you're doing it real careful and you're taking your time, taking your time detangling. It's, it's not going to break as bad, but it's, there's some strands that just not going to make it. Every strand is not going to make it, no matter how careful you are, because hair is just that fragile. It's like working with tissue paper. You feel me? So, But you, you be extra gentle, and you can break less, but you yeah, have gonna it's some gonna break so anyway to get uh, around that i'm just gonna do washing my hair once a month plus not just that i got my hair in i got my hair in braids and i want my hair to be cute and i want my styles to be banging so i'm not finna be washing my cute little styles though so whatever it is what it is i'm just i just want to be cute all 2019 is that a goal too yes all 2019 i want to keep my hair done okay okay so yeah because i never had a hairdresser i hope this girl work out <laughs> she better she she will she will um okay what's the next one 
yeah, wash my hair every four weeks. I just said that every four weeks, wash my hair. So that means from the day I get it braided to the fourth week up until, well, I can't say every four weeks because it might be every four and a half weeks because it, it might take me two days to take my hair out. Some days, I don't know. Sometimes it might take me that long so I can't wash it the very next day. I plan on washing every four and a half weeks because once I get to the fourth week, um, I know I'm going to be taking my hair out that day. So usually my takedown process is like taking my hair down and then uh, detangling it and then braiding it back up so I can then wash my hair. So it's it's a little process but before I get to the actual the actual uh washing part. So cuz I got to go through the detangling which might take a whole day with me cuz I ain't got ooh child. You know, it's the hurt be detangling. So once I get through that process, that might be a day. And then once I detangle it, braid it up, braid it up, wash it wash it, deep condition, all that other good stuff, and then sometimes I might die because, you know, sisters get a little gray around the edges, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, and right here, moisturize daily. As you all know, I just showed you guys, I moisturize my hair with escrow spray twice a day. Twice a day. Some days I forget, you know, to do twice a day and I do one. As long as I do once a day, that's fine. Um, I know some, it, it, it all depends on the, your hair type and, you know, what kind of hair you got that if you want to do twice a day, you don't have to because me and you don't got the same hair, okay? I'm just telling you my goals, okay? So if you got, like, if you want to set some goals for yourself for your hair or your life or whatever go ahead and send you some goals for 2019 it ain't too late it's just february y'all even though it's almost march but it's just february you're still good so um it's never too late to set a goal i don't care if it was december you can still set a goal for the rest of the year okay so um just because i moisturize my hair twice a day don't mean you you should but you should always you know, go by what you feel with your hair or what you think your hair needs, okay? If you don't think your hair need to be moisturized twice a day, I don't, I don't, I don't do too much. As y'all saw me just spray that a little bit, that ain't a lot. Shoot, in a couple of hours, that's going to be done soaked in my hand. It's going to be dragging. I'm for real. Like, my hands ain't pretty that much wet right now. But that's just what I do for my hair. Find your own regimen and do your own thing with your own hair, okay? Because I don't want you coming back and saying, go my said do this to my hair do this to this. I, I, I can't I can't tell you what to do with your hair especially if I ain't never seen your hair I ain't never touched your hair I ain't never came across it and took your hair in no kind of way shape or form this is just a YouTube video just hopefully you get what I'm trying to say okay so <laughs> figure out your own goals I'm just trying to give you something to my you, you can lean off of or, or you can you can copy a few of my regimen practices but if you already follow me you might probably do some of the same things that I do already I don't know if it's working for you keep doing it if not switch it up change up the game a little bit but I always make sure you're taking care of your hair okay all right so the next step on my list is deep condition deep conditioning your hair is very important deep conditioning my hair is very important to me even though I'm gonna be doing these braided up styles y'all I'm gonna have my hair braided I'm only gonna deep condition my hair once a month the same time I wash it and I think my hair will be totally safe because it's gonna be in a protective style so it's not gonna go through a whole lot of stuff before it gets to the deep conditioning point now if you were if you're gonna be wearing your hair down and out and stuff like that you you're gonna need to deep condition more because you're putting your hair out in the elements and all of that stuff so you're gonna need to do a little bit more than once a month but me i'm gonna do it once a month okay that's what's gonna work for me okay so we good all right do your thing okay so and okay the next one is drink more water drink more water Drink more water, girl. Okay, here go the water bottle number A. Number A. And, and letter B. Here we go. Water bottle. This is my two water bottles. Yes, they two of the same water bottles. Kind of, but sort of different. If you can look closely, one got cups on it right here and one got water droplets. Um, I got these water bottles off Amazon. The reason why I got two is because I was tired of refilling the one and plus I caught them off sale. Yeah, I caught them on sale. Because originally they like eleven ninety nine. I think I got them for like five and I don't know, girl. They was on sale and I got two. So because it calls for you to feel fill it up between eight and drink here all the way down to like twelve or one o'clock. Then you're supposed to be empty. Then you gotta go back and refill it and drink all the way on this side. It got the times. So um I figured, well, why don't I just get two so I got to do all these refillers. So I just keep two, put them in the freezer there, and I drank two a day. 
And that be it. You know, real simple for me. So, you know. Plus, I gotta go sell. So, I mean, that's the reason why I got two. Other than that, I probably would have had no problem with refilling one. But, anyways, child. And last but not least, I said less stress already. Okay. We're gonna say that again. Less stress. Less stress. More positive energy. More smiling in my videos, y'all. That is a goal for me. You you understand? You feel me? More smiling in my videos. Did I even smile this whole video? I don't know. I got to go back and look at the video and see. Because every day that I wake up and I'm able to make a YouTube video for you guys, I am blessed. Okay? And every day that you wake up and able to watch me make videos or watch my video, you are blessed too. So just thank God every day for just being here. One more again, okay? All right, y'all. And, oh, I got another one, y'all. And don't quit YouTube because sometimes I be feeling discouraged. You know, people, some people be discouraging me uh, by with YouTube. Uh, so I, I'm just going to try not to quit, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. So I am out of this joker. I'm done with my goals. I probably got some more goals that I ain't say. You know, less stress. Uh, less stress is a major one, okay? Because... If less stress is not on your, your gold list of your hair, oh, and eat better. Make better food choices. And by me saying that, go over and subscribe to my other channel, Gold Mouth Eats. If you ain't already subscribed, please go subscribe to Gold Mouth Eats. Um, it's my mukbang channel um, that I have, so feel free to go subscribe. And don't forget, shop for my buttons. So go to creations.webs.com. I will leave a link in below in the description box, y'all. So that is my goal for 2019. And I want to ask you guys before I end this video, what are some of your goals for 2019? Name at least one goal that you have for this year. This year. I didn't name all my goals. That was Pacific. That was, um, Pacific. That was specifically uh, mostly targeted around hair, okay? Um, so, these are my hair goals for 2019. I got other life goals that I want to achieve uh, before the year's out and stuff like that, but we'll talk about it in another video. Okay, what's one of your hair goals you got for 2019, y'all? Comment down below and let me know. We can chat, okay? Alright, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And don't forget to smile. Smile. Alright. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.